this episode of New York Next, we visit Standard Box, a company that is giving artificial intelligence a robotic body. We speak with founder and CEO Evan Beard, who tells us how he's bringing manufacturing back to the US, how robots may be pouring our drinks in just a few years, and why all of this is only possible because of artificial intelligence. Maybe in five years, we'll have a robot washing our dishes. Do you think that's possible? Absolutely, yeah. For folks who don't know about standard bots, what is it? So we saw this opportunity a few years ago to build a robot that's easier to use, more affordable, and can do so many more tasks. Robots today are pretty limited. They're really programmed with something that resembles computer code, where it's like pretty step by step. It's really hard to handle variability, like things are in a different spot, or they're different size, or shape, or color. So we have this whole new way to program a robotic arm using AI models where you can just demonstrate to the arm what the task is and it learns from that demonstration. We realized that if we can make a robot that's easier to program and more affordable and is American made, because over 99% of robots aren't made in this country, that it can bring back jobs to this country, it can improve national security, it's better for the environment, it saves on transport costs. There's so much good, it lowers the cost of food and other items for people who can't afford them the most. We realize there's so much good that can happen by making a robotic arm here in America, here on Long Island, that's easier to program. How many people are doing what you're doing here in the US? I think we are the only one making robotic arms in the New York area. What do you think you are offering with these robotic arms that existing robotic companies aren't already doing? The number one thing we're doing is you can train the arm by, we have a handheld device, it's right here. And, uh, love that, I love a show and tell moment. Yeah, the way this works is you can demonstrate a task to the robot, like pouring this Coke, and it records video, it records the position of this, and that trains an AI model that can perform that task. So you don't need any code, you don't need any programmers, it's wow. an order of magnitude easier than the traditional way. And you can do so many more tasks that are more complicated. The reality today is most things aren't automated. Even iPhones, it's like six, five, six hours of human labor per iPhone. So if you can now take this device and show it how to do something, like assemble an iPhone, that opens up so many more things to automation, you know, within manufacturing, but also, you know, across the broader world, like dishwashing and um, fast food cooking and things like that as well. I'm Randy Howie, who helped start the New York Robotics Network and is working to bring more robotic companies to the city, explains why the innovations from standard bots is only possible because of the AI technology developed over the last few years. ChatGPT gave AI language, and robotics is giving AI a body. So you can actually see it move. And it's a lot harder because ChatGPT was able to ride on the fact that there was language data all over the internet to help artificial intelligence learn. But there isn't this kind of motion data. So standard bots are really having to build the data sets and train the models, which then the robot uses to do what you've seen. I think when people think of robotics, they imagine a robot that looks like a person. But that doesn't seem necessarily the most effective tool. Do you think that that fixation actually makes sense given what they're able to do? Humanoid robots capture our hearts and minds and they look awesome and I think for all those reasons it makes sense that we're interested in them. We think that our approach of using a single arm to be able to train new tasks is one that can get to market faster and have a bigger impact than a humanoid, which is always gonna be more expensive and we think they're gonna be a few years away from really making an impact in the market.